man who's a bit unsecure in his feet might be a bit apprehensive about passing them. So this, this is the situation people confront, and I wish to give them a public forum uh, at which they can express their apprehensions and thereby gain the support of their same age cohort and their fellow community members. Okay. Um, the campaign is well underway at this stage. You're doing the, the door-to-door? I am doing the door-to-door. I normally come out in the evenings around 7 o'clock. Uh, like a nocturnal creature. <laughs> the reason for that is that I'm, I'm at school all day and then I do the domestic chores and prepare the children's dinner and my wife gets home around 7, 7.15. So that releases me to do some canvassing. And I must say, um, the people of Limerick are very courteous at the doorstep. I was just going to ask, is, are they courteous? Do they invite you in for a cup of tea? And what would be the main issues that you would be getting from them at the moment? Well, they don't go so far as to invite me in for a cup of tea, but I have had the exceptional offer. But um, for the most part, they're very courteous. The, if it's raining, they'll offer you shelter inside their, their front door. Mm. And they, they have local issues. Again, they bring up the, uh, the item of unso- antisocial behaviour, littering, um, speed ramps. They're a major issue with people. Speed ramps? Yes. Ch- people in towns and villages wish to have speed ramps put into their main street sometimes because they, they perceive the young people, pre- people perhaps generally of your age, <laughs> They drive too fast, and maybe there's an element of truth in this, and I suppose if there were speed ramps in all the little villages and towns in Limerick, the younger generation would very soon realise that there's no point in speeding, ramping up the gears yeah. when you're going to have a speed bump every 40 or 50 metres. But um, this is something I'm dev- devoting my attention to uh, if elected, because I spend, uh, I've spent a lot of time in France on holiday, and in all of the French towns, uh, strange as it may appear, on the main streets, you often meet stop signs. They give precedence to the side streets coming out onto the main streets for vehicular traffic. And the reason for that is it makes you slow down on the main street because you know that at every corner there's a stop sign mm-hmm. and the other person has right of way. So automatically you drive mu- at a much, much reduced pace. These are not nearly as expensive as speed bumps and they're not nearly as disruptive to uh, pedestrians or cyclists. And there are an alternative method of slowing down traffic. In other words, on the main street, you would have a succession of stop signs that would permit the flow of traffic from side streets onto the main street, thereby achieving your main objective of slowing the pace of traffic on the main street. It's something we can look at. Seems like a, a very worthwhile some deal to, to look into. Yes, and it's much cheaper to do than speed bumps. Much cheaper. Especially in these economic times. Oh, there you go. You're now we're singing off the one hand show. <laughs> You're running as an independent. Now, what can you see, can you do differently at the County Council as an independent? Would you see that you were going to have to eventually maybe side with one party as opposed to the other or do you think you can remain completely unbiased? And the only people with whom I will side are the, the, the interests of my electorate. I will not be swayed, into, swayed but with the the party political outlook of either party. I couldn't stand with either party because my message would not be tolerated by them. Namely, cut our expenses, cut our salaries, cut the way we, uh, the financial outlay we do in the, in the pursuit of our official duties. No party would tolerate that. Both parties, when I have been on other radio shows, have slated me for the idea, saying that they are just about well enough paid and recompensed via their salary, via their conference fee, via their expenses by the month, just about for the job they do. I don't buy that line. But I stand as an independent because I will not be stanceled by any party political whip. I can tell the story as it is to the people, and the people can make up their own minds. But um, that's why I chose to stand as an independent, because my agenda is one by its very nature that, that can only be driven by an independent candidate. Last weekend, we saw what happened to George Lee. George Lee is a highly respected figure. I'm one of his greatest supporters. He has done an enormous uh, service over the last number of years calling the downturn in the economy, that is Mm -hmm. to say. At the weekend, George Lee made some remarks about wishing to see the Senate, Shannon, abolished, to give it its Irish name. This idea has been around for a number of years, but when a main political party voices it, especially at election time, it's given greater credence. George Lee drew back from that remark yesterday. Now, he has not had a conversion like St. Paul on the road to Damascus. He has had a word in his ear from the party whip. He would obviously deny this in public, but this is the nature of politics. You tow the party line, or the party tow you out. 
Okay, just on that, so how would you expect your voice to be heard if both every other party that will be involved in the county council, how will you get your, your point across? Do you expect to be attempted to have be silenced by the people or will you expect that you will get heard and... <coughs> Excuse me, Jenny, I have a frog in my throat. Yes, Jenny, that's a, very, that's a very intelligent and a very telling point. In the chamber, as discussions go, I am sure that I will be subjected to um, an approach by either or both parties to approve of a certain measure. I can play one party off against the other. Politics is the art of the impossible. That's the, what politics is all about. So I will be attempting to get the best deal for my constituents, my electorate, via any uh, public works, etc., that are on offer throughout the county. Just the same as every other party politician will be trying to do. But I will be using the party system to my own benefit by playing one off against the other. Because there is the possibility that this could be a very close-fought election. And we may have a situation whereby we may again have other voices in the chamber other than Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. Because once the PDs disappeared from the scene, they rolled themselves into the two larger parties. So there are now no independent voices in the Mercanta Council other than the big two. I don't think that's a healthy situation. P pray God, after this election, if the host of angels in heaven give me patience to put up with it, the, the turmoil of the, the hustings and that, but pray God, after this election, there will be Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, Labour and independent candidates in the chamber, because that will more fully reflect the diversity of opinion within the electorate. Well, that actually kind of nicely leads into my next question. The County Council and its function, do you believe it works in its current form or does it need to be changed and what would you do differently and how would you change it if you could? Um, I have great respect for the County Council and the work they do. The County Council, the County Council people in the County Hall, the paid officials if you like, the non-elected officials, give sterling service and they do give off their best. I would be inclined to change the perception of the electorate, their perception of the elected officials. We should... And how would you go about doing that? By providing clear leadership, clear example, deciding to limit our expense claims, make our expense claims completely transparent. Not the amounts, but what we spent it upon. They can see exactly. And put it on a website. It's not. I, I, will, I will volunteer. I will here now volunteer to enlarge the... Um, the digital space on my website. I was just going to ask, is so your website up and running? So can take his site, take his name and put it on my, excuse me, my site and have his expenses there for all the public to see so that the public can be assured that their individual public representative is minimising the spend and maximising the value of it. And it's all transparent what he spent on petrol, diesel, foreign trips, domestic trips, summer schools if necessary. I, I regard them as totally unnecessary. They're a junket, they're a, an arts weekend away, a festival if you like. But um, put it up on the website, let people see where the money is going and we have nothing to fear from that. I certainly have nothing to fear from that. And your website is currently up and running? It is kevinoconnor.ie full address www.kevinoconnor.ie all lowercase. But uh, it's, it's up and running and there's press releases there and other useful information. So you are happy with the, the County Council and, and the way it's functioning and you wouldn't change I, I'm anything? I'm happy, very happy with the, the County Council workers, the, the salaried staff if you like, the local civil service if you like, uh, but the County Councillors have to re-establish a social contract with the voters. Uh, a woman told me that I was going to be a County Councillor for a number of weeks and then I would turn into a County Cowboy. I found the remark humorous myself, Jenny, and then she toddled off into the milking parlour to finish her day's work. On reflection, I find that this is the opinion I want to change. I want a woman like that to wake up in a number of years and say, my county councillors are doing sterling work, we're getting good value for money, they draw the same expenses as other county councillor colleagues throughout the whole of Europe, and have respect for us, but we must earn that respect. Respect will not be given to us, and nor should it. We should earn it, like all people. If you just want to give the voters just a quick recap of the policies that you're actually working, running on. Okay, transparency and accountability of local government, namely the county kind of councillor and the county kind of council chamber. Clean water and um, a, a, um, a reliable water supply. Some of the residents of Foynes have extremely low water pressure on occasion and I would like that to be addressed. Also, um, 